Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Patrick Greg and today I'm going to show you guys a video on Knox Scripts. Now before, if you guys remember, I already showed you how to download Knox, where to go, how to get onto your computer, how to link your account with it. However, I've been getting a lot more questions on what scripts do I use and how do you set up the scripts and, you know, just little tricks on scripts as well. So I'm going to try and show you guys almost all the scripts I use for my day to day life pretty much. So as you remember, the first place we always go to is our macro recorder. We're going to open that up. And as you can see, I already have some all in one test. Um, I've been trying to get some new ones going, but let's go ahead and just start on the basic. So my basic uh, script is a donating one. It's one that you'll pretty much use right away uh, whenever you get your farm up and running. And how I use it is, I do it a little bit differently. I don't click on just bases normally because what could happen is you could have a troop come over here and guess what, now you're going with it. You can have a dragon flying over and guess what, you're flying with it. So instead, I like to make bookmarks. So we go right here, random base, we're gonna go ahead and set a bookmark. Now what this bookmark does is, it now sets a set place on where we click. So it doesn't matter where you are, as long as we're in this area, you know, as long as, long as we're in our city view, you'll be able to record it. So. This base is uh, stone and gold. So we're gonna go ahead and get started on our first macro, or script. Again, you click the bookmark. Go to the first bookmark, and it already pops up. You hit transport, and the transport pops up. Now, what I like to do is, I always like to try and find set locations on stuff. How do you do that? Well, if I was to keep scrolling up one time, what if my uh, script forgets to do it one time or it overlaps. Well, now I'm clicking in a random spot like right here. So instead, you scroll up at least two or three times. Then you go ahead and click the middle and middle. The reason why I like to click the middle is if you get too far and your script kind of uh, speeds up, it could say that you don't have enough resources. And you never wanted to say that because then it'll mess up your whole script. So now we are transporting stone and gold. We hit send and we stop the script. Now we're gonna write in here, put mark one stone and gold transport. Now, what I'm also gonna try and do down below, uh, while you guys are uh, you know liking and subscribing, I'm just gonna plug it in there. If you guys don't mind, just hit a quick like on the video, uh, just subscribe if you're new. It really helps me out. I am just trying to make this you know so more guys as possible. I'm trying to push some more out, but. Um, as you see, sometimes real life gets in the way, and then this KVK tournament is coming up, or is upon us right now. We went 2-0, so we're going to be playing again Saturday, and hopefully we can uh, hear another victory. But, back to the video. Down below in the description, I'm going to try and link all my scripts. So, that way you can just click it, download it, and update like a bookmark 1 or bookmark 2 to your profile. And just hit play. You know, you're going to import it uh, from the script that I make. And I'm going to show you guys how to do that after this. All right. We got our bookmark one, stolen gold. Now, I like to check alliance gifts too, as well as helping alliance members. Right now, there's no helps out, but we're going to make another script on questing, actually. Let's do questing. So we're going to hit a record in the same screen. Go to our first quest, click daily, select all, OK, refresh, OK, click alliance, selecting all, OK, refresh. Then we're going to go right back to our daily, and then we're going to leave the map again, and that's going to be called double quest. The reason why I call it double quest is because it does an alliance uh, quest and it does a um, daily quest or daily quest in alliance. Now, let's say this is all you want to do. You just want to do questing. You just want to do questing. And you just want to do um, don uh, donations. You know, resource donations. 
Well, now we're going to combine these two scripts. Unload. All right. So we're going to start with a double quest first. That way we can get some more resources. And you can even click right here. Clicking right here actually allows you to do a certain amount of quests before you uh, transport. So for the you know, purpose of this video, I'm going to leave it at one. But remember that you only get 300 of these. Um, why did I say 300 and not 600? Well, because remember, the uh, daily and alliance quest is all in one script on this one. So you get 300. After 300, you can still keep going, but you're going to get reduced rewards. So you don't want to waste them. So we're going to click one here. Interval will be uh, one. Now, I always like all my speed at 0.9. Uh, it just makes it seem like it goes smoother. Now, something that they added in this recent update in Nox, I love. Interval will, uh, with the next script. Go ahead and put that on one second. You kind of want more gaps um, in your videos, or I'm sorry, in your scripts. That way you can make sure that they don't clip over. So with zero seconds, it's going to hit your hometown, go right to the next script. And sometimes we're not ready for that. And actually, because I said that, we're going to go with two seconds so we don't mess up on this video. All right. Then we're going to do our bookmark. And we're going to go back to, do, like I said, 0.9 seconds. So again, it's going to do the double quest and then bookmark. Hit save. Go ahead and title again. I like to try and title all my scripts. That way I don't forget which one I do. So now we have double quest book part one stone and gold. Now, also another reason why I like to uh, label them is what if I make another bank or farm or, you know, another account? Well, now I know, or if I'm helping somebody else out, right? Now I can just plug in this account the bookmark one and boom I'm instantly using the script on a stolen gold farm all right now since we already did the 0.9 speed we don't have to change it here um, if you don't want to do the edits on the first one where you're editing how many times it's questing before dumping go ahead and change this one to 300 now it's going to do 300 it's going to loop this 300 times and that it will stop on your quest rewards now when i'm doing this and i'm not at home i'll change this to about 10 10 or 15 seconds whenever i'm doing just uh this script alone that way i try to get them so it's proactive throughout the day and they were not you know stalling out now let's go check it out so again it's going to be opening up the quest daily quest first clicking daily quest you always want to click it just in case it's on another tab we collected it, we refreshed it, and now we're going to go to the Alliance. We're collecting all the Alliance quests, refreshing, and now we're going back to the city, the world map, I'm sorry, and we're going to be donating the resources now. Clicking it, transporting. Now this one might take a little bit of uh, extra time because I was talking to you guys while doing it. But whenever you're going to do it, it will be a little bit smoother than this. Um, after I show you guys the next script, I'm going to go a little bit faster because we've already seen this process. Um, like I said, it's very important to try and find that base set screen that you'll always get to. So that's why we scroll up twice. Scroll up twice, click stone and gold. Remember, we're clicking in the middle. That way we don't run out of resources while down, uh, donating. Hit transport. That hit transport. <laughs> now we're gonna wait one second and now we're already back into the quest. That one second sometimes goes a little bit quick. All right, so that's our first script. Now again, I will leave the script down in the description. If I can, uh, it might not be up there right away, but give it about a day or two if it's not up. So now we just did the basic. This was just the basic quest and resource dump. Remember, if you don't have any quests, you don't want to do any quests, then guess what? You're going right here, uh, looping this. I'm sorry, you're not going to loop it. You're going to loop until a stop button is pressed. You're going to go ahead and make that 60 seconds, right? 60 seconds. Every minute it will dump. I just like to go to 0.5 speed. Just go make it go extra slow. You're not worried about it. You're just trying to make sure that your uh, resources aren't overflowing. 
or uh, filling up. So when they fill out, you're technically losing resources. All right. So now we're done with that one. Let's see. The next script we're going to do now is pretty much the all-in-one. I'm going to show you guys the all-in-one script that I've decided to make. So far, it's been working pretty smooth, and it's a um, it helps with the knights. It helps with the alliance helps and it helps with the alliance gifts and it helps with the um, transport as well as the alliance donations to the resource building that we're doing because we're trying to set up a sawmill so everyone in the alliance and kingdom can uh, benefit from it what we like to do with that is uh, different alliances to open them up we all pretty much join that alliance to farm it well until it gets to 100 slots all right, this quest is a little bit long, the script is a little bit long. Try and follow through. Like I said, I will leave a export of it if you don't uh, want to keep up and you just want to go to it later on. Let's dive into it. First thing we got to do is we got to set up our knights. So I set up my knight area to be right here. So if you see right here how it, how it has a little um, down air, like corner the bottom corner can be lined up with the middle that button all right what happens then is you click it and it centers itself now whenever I leave my map I come back in it's always in the same spot and it didn't move now remember what I said we always want to make sure that everything is in the set position what this does now is it's always allows my night place to be right there this allows me to be able to sweep um quests now Quest sweeping is going to be on a whole like different like um, video. I want to know how much I can get from it, and I'll be doing some spreadsheets on it. Which one's the best one to do? Uh, how much resources you get from each one? And uh, later on, I'll do a video on that. I believe that video was requested as well. They want to know how to complete different nice missions. Uh, right now, on this account, I'm not pushing because I got my two nice that I want to level. And it was Galahad and Lamerick. And the reason why for that one is I love I love farming on this on this account. So I want to unlock him because this is an epic that requires six hours of total production. And as shown in Civic Center Overview, cooldown is one day. So every day you're making an extra six hours of resources, which Later on, we'll do. We'll show you like the best way to uh, maximize your resource production today. And there's actually even a set that you want to equip before you use the spell. And we'll talk about that uh, when we do our night video. Now, I've already made a profile of this, so I am going to go ahead and um, play it. And while we're playing it, we're going to go over what it's doing. So this is called a all-in-one test. All right. As you see, I link I uh, link here to be once every hour, and it's going point uh, five speed. We're gonna speed that up just a little bit because what I'm trying to do is a video, and uh, we're only gonna do it one time. All right, so here it is, all in one test mac, uh, script. My favorite one so far. Let's see how it goes. All right, so we're going to. Our city, we're clicking the knights, and we're going to the adventure. Now we're clicking onto the normal chapter one, and we're gonna be scrolling all the way down. I want to keep these knights kind of in order. We sweep ten of those. It's gonna keep spamming it everywhere around it because uh, while I was doing it, you don't really remember where all those slots are. This will help in the future when I scroll all the way down again and I click the second knight. The reason why I click the second night is because um, the next time I do these nights, it'll be able to go to this one next. That way, throughout the whole day of the script going on, I don't miss a night sweep. As you can see, my nights were, were even at 10,000 energy. I haven't missed a night sweep in uh, two days, two or three days now after making this script. It's one of my favorite scripts. So again, we're clicking the sweep. We're clicking around here just in case we had a, uh, energy available. We don't, so we're going to click cancel. We're going to leave this area, and now we're going to go out. Well, actually, I'm sorry. We're going to go to the top, 
We're gonna complete the bottom or the top three. Now, remember this one is a little bit of a long script for the night. However, this is made to be, like I said, for all the energy. Oh, we just got another energy. So now we're gonna be able to use it again. And if you see the rewards, I just got 600,000 iron and 8 million night um, XP. So this is something that's very important. You do not want this energy to be overflowing. Right now, this is one of the best ways to uh, farm your night stuff. Without paying, obviously. It's uh, free to play. Almost all my non videos, I try to show you guys free to play because I do not spend on this account. So, go back home. Go back to the city, the road map, I'm sorry. And now we're going to do our quest dump. Like I said, this is all one script. And uh, we're clicking the same thing that you're seeing clicking on. You want to make sure you're clicking on. And you can kind of go a little bit fast while you're clicking it because after you click everything somewhat fast, you're going to slow down the speed to about 0.5. And that way, however fast you were clicking, it does not matter. It's all going to go in 0.5 speed of what you're clicking on. Now we're doing daily quests. Completing the uh, wow, completing the daily quest, refreshing it, going over to the alliance quest, collecting all these. Now this script is something that you would use like whenever you're not paying attention or whenever you're leaving for a while and stuff like that. Um, I just this is a a complete AFK quest script. Now we're going to. Oh, see, looks like it's messing up a little bit. I think that's because there's a rally going on, but that's okay. We'll fix that later. Uh oh. We have to edit this out. All right, so it looks like there's a rally going on. So it's messing up the scripts a little bit. So we're gonna have to see how to fix that, right? But like I said, now that there's a rally going on and it's done with the script, what we can do now is um, add it on to an addition, right? So this is actually pretty cool that this came up because this I, I didn't have a rally up when I made the script. So we're gonna add it on to the all-in-one. We're gonna hit play. We're gonna go to the Alliance tab. We're actually going to scroll all the way down and we're going to do the alliance help first. Help all. Go back to the alliance. The alliance buildings. Process. Donate. And as you see, I don't miss donations either. All right. After that, let's go right back to our alliance. Let's open up some gifts. Click on the alliance gifts. Open, 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 clear, home. And now we're back here. And we'll stop it. And we'll go ahead and add it to the all in one. So we're going to attach the macro. And we're going to do the all in one test. With the new, just in case, this is uh, we're gonna change that name later on. I'm go ahead and change this to two seconds, just in case. And name it. So I like to just leave these on. I'm still doing these experimental. Um, as I'm updating them, I'm gonna try and do it into Google Docs to where you guys can just go ahead and copy and paste them as I make new scripts. So there's a Scooby All in One test. Now we've done our AFK scripts. Let's go ahead and do the one for Monster. So there's two. Um, a couple ways you can do this script. Remember, always set the set base. The corner of the base 
or the, the item that you're trying to click on will be right here. This also helps when you're trying to upgrade uh, bases as well. What you can do is you can put a base right here and you can click uh, on the upgrade and do one upgrade on one base, save that script and then do it on the next one. So you'll move like a house right here, you'll upgrade it, click it in the corner, you upgrade it. And after you upgrade it, then you pick in the next, uh, the next house. Then you just hit play on it and it will upgrade it after you with using your script. So right now we're working on the dragon. Let's go ahead and start drag. Okay, so this is just a farm base that I use to fill help fill rallies. But oh, all right. Actually, this is pretty cool. I got two monsters right here. This is perfect. This is exactly what I wanted to do. All right, I got two bases, or I'm sorry, two monsters. We're gonna go ahead and put this one bookmark one and bookmark two. All right, now we want to make a script to pretty much where we can go AFK while attacking monsters, right? So hit the play again. Go to our bookmarks because it's always on set spots. We go here, we attack. As it's attacking, I go ahead and go to, back to it again. I wait for it to come back from the mission. Shoot about a second or two, and I attack it again. You can go faster if you want, however, I don't like to uh, make clippings, so try to give it a little bit of time to do it. Again, it comes back, it's about one, two. And when we make these dragon uh, scripts, you only need this to be one script and then everyone else is, uh, follows through with it because all you gotta do is set monsters on bookmark one and bookmark two. All right, so I believe we have one more hit left. This is also why I suggest having, I believe it's 36,500. That will, um, allow you to hit the monster six times and why do i say six times just uh let less times we have to go back to our dragon to reset it all right last hit and we are going back just right away we're gonna drag and now we're waiting for it and we can go ahead and do this one I would like to do the second preset. That way I keep a baseline of all of the bases that I plug into Knox. So if I have another account right away, I can go ahead and do it with this script, all right? So using two of these, if you have users that are um, available, is the best uh, way to do it. However, if you don't, then just go ahead and click the 20,000 one. It's cheaper than this, 200 gems cheaper. Went back to our drag. Closing it out, and boom, that is bookmark one dragon. And uh, I just do it eight seconds because that would be, so this right here is, is six seconds. If a monster is four seconds away, then that will be eight seconds. So I just take this and then times it by two and that's how long it takes. Um, let's see, now we have a bookmark two, you'll do the same thing. And then uh, you can also do this one right here, where we go back to bookmark one and we max hit it. Going right back to our city, we refresh our dragon energy. Yeah, the reason why he's out of energy is I did this dragon for about four hours on uh, the last KVK. All right, so we stop it. Now we have bookmark one max hit. Boom. So now we're gonna combine these two scripts because as you can see, I have a alliance or a uh, combo bonus of 25, right? So what I would do is I would do we could do 6, 12, 18, we could do 3 sets of 
six accounts or six uh, hits. So we'll do add them in right away. For this one, I am gonna loop it plenty of times because we just wanted to kill the monster after this. Interval one second, 0.9 speed. This one we're looping three times so we can get 18 combo bonus onto it. I know there's already seven on there, but for the purpose of the video, we're gonna leave it as is. One second, and don't forget that one second as well. All right, now we're gonna do book, mark one, drag, three sets, then max it. All right, loop this one. Just in case, I mean, I don't see it living that long. Oh. Alright, here we go. Now that's pretty much it. Um those are the two big macros that are scripts. Sometimes I do this, uh so I, I have to try and there we go. I try to well I try I guess that's a really good thing that, that just came up. What I always try to do before I run these scripts is I like to train troops to go ahead and do the infernals before um, before I start the dragon. That way they're not getting interrupted. Because as you see now, the dragons are monsters branch to infernal levels or completions. All right. If you have any more questions on how to set these Mac uh, scripts up, um, which one you would like to see downloaded or which one you want me to do so I can export it, let me know, but now speaking about the exports, I'm gonna go ahead and pause this. Uh, actually, I think I can do it right away as we're doing this. So you can see the, the monster hunting as I'm talking to you guys. So we're gonna click export. Cause I think a lot of people like are gonna like this uh, the script. I'm gonna do the, let's start with the bookmark one monster. All right, so we click it, export, and we're going to go to bookmark one and drag. We're gonna export it and hold on. And new folder. I try to have it right here. This is gonna be a test for video. And boom, so that's how you export a script. So if you want to have an alliance member or your friend uh, share scripts so you guys can see how your uh, scripts work with each other, you're going to export them. And then you can send them into a, a share drive or you know, into the uh, email as well, and they can download it from the email. And once they get it from the email, they're going to go ahead and click import. And wherever their folder is, Right here, test for video. You click it, and now this import is somewhere. I think it's I think it still got saved down here because I'd already had it in the blue. But that's pretty much how you would import it. Um, I think it might be messing up because I have it playing a script right now, but. Like I said, uh, we, dealt, we talked about exporting, we talked about importing the scripts. Like I said, give me a, a day or two and I will try to put all the scripts that I use or the main ones that I use into the description of this video. Um, if there's any other questions, please let me know. Also, again, hit that like and subscribe. It really helps me out. Um, I, I I try to do as many videos as, as I can. Sorry if they're taking too long, but we have a hell of a KVK going on right now. I am going to try and capture some of those some of those battles as well. Once we get knocked out, um, I don't brag. You know, we're not we're not the best kingdom, but we're busting our asses off. Excuse my language, but we are. So I'm just trying to watch this script real quick. As I think, um, is there any more scripts? There is a, a troop building.
script I use, but that's not something that I want to share because it's not the same speed ups as everyone else's. So went over those, went over the all in one, went over monster. And I think that's it. Again, if you have any ideas or or want me to see if I can script anything else, let me know in the comment section. Thank you for watching. I'm Casual Greg. Y'all have a good night. Good day. At noon. We're everywhere. <laughs> in this time zones of games. Alright, I'm out. I'm out.